Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to a brand new video. Apologies, I have a cold. It's just one thing after another over it. <laughs> I really wanted to do a vlog for you, but I think that is gonna have to come next week. So next week, it will hopefully be a vlog. I've got a cold, there's been some health stuff going on that if you've seen on Instagram, like, there's just been a lot going on. We've got a lot to update you on. I'm fine, we're all good. But I need to film a video today that I can film in like 20 minutes and then maybe just go <laughs> horizontal again but I made myself look nice and that's definitely helped me to feel a little bit better and as you know I'm just feeling very inspired style wise clothing wise at the moment I feel like I've got a new lease of life in me and I just want to talk about it so today I thought I would share what is on my I guess summer spring spring into summer rack I've had a bit of a move around. I think previously, if I've had things in my wardrobe that have been weather appropriate, I have felt the need to put them on that season's rack. So if I had something for summer, like I just put everything for summer on here, like everything for spring on the rack. Even if it maybe didn't fit my exact style at the time, it didn't fit me right at the time, it just wasn't something that I was gravitating towards. And I think that's actually made things a little bit confusing and like a little bit busy to look at. So with this, I've really, made it like my dream spring summer rack there are definitely some things that are on the other side of the room that are spring summer appropriate but maybe I'm just not feeling them right now um I spoke about I think it was in like a previous video the whole Alison Bornstein thing of like creating your own archive of being like this might not be for me right this second this might not be a this summer thing but it might be a next summer thing and that's completely okay and I think having that more streamlined approach and just putting things over here that actually feel amazing on me that like fit me well that I like, want to wear that I get excited when I see instead of just everything that I own that is weather appropriate um it's actually really helped me get ready in the morning so I would say that is like a huge thing that's helped me right now the second thing is this sounds so obvious this sounds really really obvious maybe it's just the head cold talking but giving myself time to actually get ready in the morning clothing wise like I will make sure I've got enough time to do my skincare routine I'll make sure I've got enough time to put on my psoriasis cream to do my hair like whatever it is but for some reason I would always be like right okay uh this this right let's go and sometimes I put things on and actually they didn't look right together I didn't feel great in that outfit but I'd left myself such a short amount of time I had to leave the house Whereas now I'm trying to give myself like a good five, 10 minutes. And if that means that I change my outfit three times before I leave the house, but actually I really love what I'm wearing. I feel really good in what I'm wearing. That is like time, that's time well spent. I watched a TikTok that was like, you need seven outfits, like seven kind of key uniforms that you can rely on and that'll make getting ready in the morning like really easy. I'm kind of like working on that, like what are my seven uniforms? I think that'd be really, really helpful. But until we find those uniforms, giving myself a good five minutes in the morning to get ready, try things on, experiment a bit, has been really helpful. And I feel like it's helping me use things in my wardrobe that maybe I haven't been getting as much wear out of. That was a very long <laughs> rambly intro, but um, let's let's talk, let's talk through what I've got on here. I mean, this is gonna be no surprise. You'll probably know many of the things I'm gonna talk to you about. It shouldn't be too shocking. What I might do is, because there are so many things, I might just make a set on LTK and link that down below and then like you'll be able to find all the links to everything in there instead of me like doing a mahoosive description box. It'll probably take hours to put together, but I have two Anderson's belts. I think I wear them in an 85? Yes, 85. I've now got the brown version because I wear the black one so much and I genuinely feel like these are just the best belts ever. I have done a TikTok edit of some good Jeeps. I found some good ones, but these are my fave. And let's do bags. I've put some of my bags away into storage. I mean, they're literally just down here. So if for some reason I wanna get one out, like I totally can, but I kind of just wanted to streamline my bags a little bit. I've kept it down to these four. I've got two black bags and two brown bags. The Cezanne Milo bag, I'm enjoying having something a bit more structured. Obviously, my little epic puzzle bag, I mean, that is always gonna be out. The Celine Hobo bag, but like the black zipped version, really good for when I need to take a lot of things somewhere. And then my new one, my new brown Celine Hobo. I'm gonna pop that back up from there. But if I want something a little bit more summery, I've got the Alien Nina bag, I've got my straw bag, like I've got bits and bobs. They're just not as easy to grab. Let's start off with cream trousers. I obviously have the skirt that I have on now. This is from Dish, like a little silky number. Um, but yeah, my trousers at the moment are very much like, black, blue, or cream. Um, I recently picked up these Reformation ones as part of a Selfridges job 
that I'm doing. Oh, have I got a stain on them? Yes, need to pop these in the wash, but they're like the perfect flowy summer trousers. They're quite thin, but just very comfortable. These are Senyo ones, which I got secondhand, and then these are some dish linen trousers. I've still got my Arquette ones. I've got those ones over there. They're a little less structured and probably more like around the house or super casual. And I thought I only really need like one pair of linen trousers. So I'm gonna go for these, but obviously the Arquette ones are over there if I need them. Um, then I've got three pairs of jeans, the Arquette Dahlia jeans, the Agoldi jeans, super into these at the moment actually. And then some vintage Levi's. And then three pairs of black trousers and jeans. Um, these are from Kate again from Selfridges. I wanted a pair of straight leg or more like straight to leg black jeans um, because the redone ones that I have from a couple of years ago no longer fit, took them to a tailor's, they got completely butchered. I just completely messed them up, which is so sad. So these kind of fit that category. Um, but then I've also got the washed black Dahlia jeans from Arquette. And then these from Dish. These are slightly different to the other Dish ones I've got. The beige ones are double lined. They're like a little bit more formal, whereas these are thinner. They're just a single piece of fabric in a very similar cut. Um, I actually wear them in a US 8. I'm a UK 10 to 12. And although this is a US 6 from Dish, um, I'd say the US 8 fits me better in bottom half things. So another thing I've been doing is hanging up my vests and my t-shirts. I used to keep them in the other room and actually like going back and forth and like, I don't know, I was just like, you know what, it's so much easier to have these hanging up, especially in the summer. Like these are a really cool part of my wardrobe. It's nice to have them. It's nice better to see them visually just hanging there. Um, so these ones, Arquette, the Arquette one. This is a Cos one that I got from Vinted, I think. Another Arquette one. This one is from Dish. This one is from Cos, and again from Vinted. And then this one is Arquette as well. I like to categorize everything. So we've got like trousers, I've got vest tops, I've got vests, I've got t-shirts, I've got shirts, I've got knitwear, and then I've got jackets. And I do everything color coordinated in those sections. Everything is just very pleasing to the eye, easy to find. I then keep my knitted vests up there. I mean, knitted vests, this is a new category for me. If like me, you're stuck in either wearing like a shirt or a vest top or like a jumper <laughs> and you kind of want something a bit different in your wardrobe just to like spice it up and like add a bit of variety. I really feel like knitted vests have done that for me. And this one is from a brand called So So S-O-E-U-R. Again from Selfridges. Um, and it's just like fluffy. Let me show I actually really like this. It's fluffy and it's just kind of, I don't know, it's like the per it's exactly what I needed. Exactly what I needed. I feel like I was never into the chunky vests that like go over a shirt or like go over a t-shirt, but I do really like the chunky vest that you can just wear on their own. Um, this one is a secondhand pre-loved Jaeger. I think from Depop I got this one. Yeah, I think I got this one from 11 Vintage. I've really enjoyed wearing these with like jeans or like a skirt like this. And yeah, I don't know. I feel like it feels like something a bit different in my wardrobe. Something not different in my wardrobe are t-shirts. Um, yeah, t-shirts just got, just got a few. It's also nicer to have them hanging up um, because I'm wearing them so regularly and folded up, they just get so creased. So it's nice to have them out. I'm just so much more likely to wear them because I would get them out and be like, oh, they're creased. And then I'd try and find something else because I couldn't be bothered to steam or iron them. Um, so I've got the Arquette Classic Crew and then the Arquette Heavyweight. I've got the Arquette Classic Crew and Cream and then the Heavyweight and Cream. Oh, this one is new actually. Um, this one is from Skims. I kind of wanted to experiment with like a skin tight, like super skin tight, that very like 90s feel, but kind of like just a basic at the end of the day and will be really good for layering kind of year round. So this is a Skims black t-shirt, but I've also got the Arquette Crew and then the Arquette Heavyweight. Okay, for shirts, I've really narrowed it down. Like I have so many more shirts than this. If you know my wardrobe, if you saw my wardrobe clear out, I'll link that in the corner for you. You will know I've got so many more shirts than this. I've got pattern ones, I've got a blue one, I've got a short sleeve denim one, I've got a striped one. I have a lot of shirts, um, but bizarrely I don't find myself wearing shirts as much as I used to. So I thought I was just gonna really edit it down and keep this to like the bare basics. I've got a Jeff Avenue white shirt. Um, this is a newer purchase and I love it. I love it. This was exactly what I was looking for. And um, I said in a previous video or TikTok somewhere, I wanted like a thicker, kind of premium fill silk shirt. Um, and this from Marquette is exactly what I wanted. Like, look at that sheen on it. I previously only had creamy silk shirts. I think I had an equipment one a couple of years ago, but it was very thin, almost that like tissue papery texture, that like really kind of matte texture. And I just wanted something that had that. Ooh, it just, it just looks really, really gorgeous. And I think I'm wearing it 
in a medium. They do it in a couple of shades, but I'm really happy with the beige. And then I've got an Arquette oversized linen shirt and then just the Jeff Avenue. Um, I think this is their on the go shirt, just in the black. I've kept the knitwear really minimal and I am hanging them because I obviously have like all of my other knitwear hanging up over there, but this is really like lightweight knitwear. It's not super heavy. It's not being like stretched out on the hanger at all. I would never do this with anything heavy but obviously I'm not needing to wear anything heavy at the moment and I've kept it really minimal because ultimately I mean today it's warm today it's warm I mean by the time this video goes live it's going to be June I mean that is summer this this is summer this is summer guys I just need to get my denim shorts and like throw them on and I'm like there you go that is my summer wardrobe so I mean these are not things I plan on wearing all that often this is definitely like a in the evening I might need a layering piece on an early morning taking Ralph out somewhere I might just need something to throw over my shoulders um this is a newer purchase I think I've made this purchase since my second hand haul I will link that in the corner for you so many things I'm wearing at the moment people are like where is this from where is this from I'm like guys it's all in the second hand haul this is from Depop from that seller I was talking about 11 vintage and again it's vintage Jaeger 100% wool um I just love vintage Jaeger even the label is cool look at that so cool and then I've got a cashmere jumper from Arquette and then an equipment cashmere jumper they're both back from the seamstress they've been fixed the holes are gone they're looking fat then I've got jackets and if I'm being honest when I'm filming this video it's the 24th of May we haven't had a great run of weather but the next couple of weeks looks like it's going to be incredible so I feel like a lot of these jackets actually aren't particularly appropriate for the weather we're going to be having in the summer of course but I'll keep them here I mean the blazer the blazer is definitely something I will wear the leather jacket I mean I don't know maybe I will who knows what kind of summer we'll have but maybe for evenings and then the trench coat um yeah probably this is probably going to be retired I might retire it now here you go I bought back the redone jeans these are the ones that I found on the outlet um for like 60% off or something mad um so it's still got the tag on I haven't had a chance to wear them yet but yeah let's Let's throw in the denim shorts in. Well, this I probably will wear. This is a secondhand um, Ralph Lauren denim shirt in a large that I found on Depop. Again, that 11 vintage seller. But I feel like that could be a good layering piece. And the same with this. This might be just like, oh, a light little summer evening out. The suede jacket. Um, this was again pre-love. Pre-love Jaeger, like look. Honestly, pre-loved vintage Jaeger, we are here for it. I'm gonna retire this trench coat too, because hopefully like we're done. You know what, if we're going full on summer wardrobe over here, then there are two things I wanna add back in. And these from Arquette, just their silky trousers. Like these are such a good working around the house trouser. Um, I got them maybe two years ago now. I'm sure they've got like a similar one still in, but yeah, I feel like I gravitate towards those quite a lot. And then this I got from Retold Vintage. And it was a low a more like midi dress, like a vintage low a midi dress. So gorgeous, but it was a little bit long. Um, so I took it, I took it to a tailor who um, completely butchered it and cut it so short that the pockets were like hanging out. Like it was really, really bad, but then I took it to my good seamstress who I like love and she's great. She's really good, especially at dresses and she kind of recovered it for me. But I think this is really cool and it very much feels the vibe that I'm feeling right now of this, like slightly more polished, slightly more groomed, slightly more put together. So let's hang that up. And then these two jackets, again, I'm popping back in. I mean, the Max Mara might be a little bit too thick for summer, but again, good for evenings. And then the Totem, um, I think I got this from Vestia actually, that blazer can go back in as well. There you go. Oh, there you go she is ready let's have a quick talk about shoes i only really got two kind of full-on like covered shoes but the gani boots and um, the gani cali boots like they're there but they're probably more like a one-off for like a fancy evening out or something these aren't going to be like an everyday boot in the summer like i don't know i don't really gravitate towards boots obviously converse just for out and about bear with me i need like a throat lubrication break i have two pairs of loafers these are the celine i'm not sure of the name of them but i found them on the real real finally I spoke about these in a TikTok and how I bought some shoe stretchers and I stretched them out to fit my feet. And honestly, it was like the best 15 pounds I've ever spent. It's made them so comfortable. And then these suede ones from Arquette are just like, I mean, look at them. You can even tell like they're all like, oh, they're all like buttery. So, so, so comfortable. And then these are two pairs of shoes from my secondhand haul. These ones are from Angel Alacron. They've got like a little court shoe kind of sling back moment very chanel-esque like they feel like the shoe of the summer i'm seeing them 
everywhere like these but the chanel ones and then like a chanel ballet flat like everybody is that that's the vibe and i really like that vibe but i do prefer these because they are square toed and i also love the elasticated band around the back which obviously makes them very comfortable to wear and then these i picked up from vestiaire and i have to say like they're, they're Mano manolo 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 blanet I think I'm saying that correctly. They're kind, these might be on the chopping block. These might go for sale on like my vintage or something sometime soon. But they're here and I've had opportunities to wear them and I haven't because ultimately they're not the most comfortable. Yeah, I, I feel like they're maybe a little bit too pointy for me. I don't know, maybe they're a bit more comfortable than I thought. Hmm. I'm thinking, do I sell these and maybe get like a repetto ballet flat and just like lean into the ballet flat thing because like, there have been outfits that I've been like, if I just had a pair of black ballet flats right now, I probably would just reach for those. Something that was comfortable, like I walk a lot. <laughs> I'm always out and about pushing a buggy and these are not very like pushing a buggy kind of friendly, nor are they particularly comfortable. I don't know. I also got these from APL on Vinted recently and they're just too flat. They're like too flat. I've worn them a couple of times out and about and these are going to be going back on Vinted. Um, I feel like they're also not the right size for me. I got them in a 40 and I feel like they're just a little bit too big so i feel like if you're ever ordering from apl i would say they're true to size i'm definitely more like a six six and a half sometimes a seven and um, but definitely not a seven in these so these will be going on my vintage sometime soon these lock ara sandals like who remembers these i've had these for ages i've got a tiny little heel on the bottom and then just a strap that goes around the ankle like these are not an everyday shoe for me absolutely not but i went around a friend's house the other night and like all these they're like a really nice want to dress up an outfit want to just wear like a t-shirt and jeans and then put these on and it's instantly like oh a little bit fancy and then right now if you want to know the two pairs of shoes that i'm actually wearing on the daily it's these um the birkenstock eva sandals like i just need a comfortable shoe that i can walk a good couple of miles in like it gets to the afternoon me and mark want to take ralph for a walk like i'm not going to be wearing my manalo blanix over the bridge and like my feet falling apart and then like that doesn't sound very fun i need to go to a park i need to go to a beach and i just want to be comfortable so these are what i reach for then and also just my like, on flip-flops like i'm having a slinky footwear moment like i don't want anything chunky in my life for now i have retired the mango like chanel dad sandal dupes but they're over there and i think i did wear them the other day like i'm just kind of gradually moving towards something different this summer but i will definitely be keeping those because they're like the best chanel dad dupe that i found and who knows maybe next summer i'll go back to those but yeah these are my two comfortable shoes that i'm like actually wearing all the time so they have it a tour of my summer wardrobe what do you think probably no surprises there um, but maybe this encourages you to do like a bit of a clear out of your own or maybe just to embrace that philosophy of like you don't need to put every single weather appropriate thing in your everyday rotation you can like you can curate you can like put in what you fancy create a slightly different vibe um and that's what i am feeling right now but thank you for bearing with me um i would love to give you something a little bit more exciting but uh yeah the throat is it's given up it's given up <laughs> but i will be back next week with a vlog hopefully so i will see you then there's so much to talk about health stuff renovation new purchases new makeup like new recipes oh it's going to be a good one. I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.